Not that every ancient hotel is haunted, you know. it should be. supposed to be going to Wismans Wood. It is in fact just across the road. But it's dark and cold and wet. I think it's supposed to be housing pixies. I just got this this idea in my head that we'll be stood soaked through in a dark, cold place and there won't be any pixies. What do you think? Should we go? Definitely. <laughs> I think it's really funny the way that we're staying in this beautiful country hotel. It has gilt edged mirrors hundreds of portraits, hardwood furniture, uh, beautiful ceiling, chandeliers, brass uh, implements hanging on the walls, uh, grandfather clocks everywhere, and then they're playing Radio 1. Well, this is fantastic because this room is haunted. I didn't come to this hotel knowing anything about it. We actually came here because of Wisman's Wood. Just as we were settling the bill, I said off the cuff, Oh, th this hotel isn't haunted, is it? And they said, no, don't worry. And I said, oh, um, I'm not worried. We, we like haunted hotels. And there were two of them, and they didn't say anything to each other. But then the, there was some sort of very subtle exchange. Um, and the girl just said, we're upgrading you to the historic room. And I just thought, I wonder if they're upgrading us to the haunted room. So anyway, we came in here, and yes, it does look like it could be your archetypal haunted room. It's, you know, it's clearly old, um, and it has atmosphere, what with the, the furniture. However, that's all we knew. I had a very good sleep, uh, but... Sana hates being filmed. What happened to you? I was sleeping and I felt something next to me. It was like a something pressing here or as if someone was lying next to you? No, it was only here, this part. Just there, like someone was sitting on the bed. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> then this cold wind came here. Passed over you. Yeah. Okay. Now you say there was a cold wind. Maybe the window was open. Yeah, but it wasn't. Okay, the window wasn't open. Maybe yeah. the room was cold. No. No. We it, had the heat. It wasn't <laughs> because we were drying our tent. We had the tent laid over there. We had this heater on because we were drying the tent and all our clothes that we were washing yesterday. In fact, the room was very hot. Very hot. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we had the window closed. And anyway, drafts should come from the draft should be coming from that direction because the window's over there. I thought as soon as we ask a cleaner, I bet that we'll 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 hear a story about it. We bumped into a lady, and she didn't she didn't know anything about us. Um, and uh, I just said, "Does this room have a ghost?" And she told us this story. Okay, no. so are you, are you staying for another night in this room? No, we we stayed no. last night. Is this room? But you're not staying anymore in this room. No. Okay, someone was um, hanging in this room. Someone was hung in that room. Okay, because <laughs> we uh, we were not told it was haunted, but uh, we uh, felt something last night. Yeah. Really? What was it? Just. Uh, Go on, what you say? I felt something next to me, like a really press, and then this cold wind cold came wind. over. Do you know? You just do you know anything more? I I don't know anything more, but um, yes, uh, staff doesn't like to stay in this room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because it's yes, some ghost is there. Or in the interest of research, there's something you haven't told me as mm -hmm. well. Can you tell me? Um, so, when we came here yesterday, I was here in this bed, mm -hmm. watching you. You were there in a computer. Yeah. And suddenly I felt like I was watching through somebody else's eyes, you know. It was it's just so difficult to explain what happened. No, I just. Why didn't you tell me about that? Well, I didn't know what was that. Actually, I have had this before. Now that I think. Where? About different places. Could it be anywhere, like a supermarket or. Mm. In a park, maybe. Mm. Well, well, I remember one place very well. It was in my school. I was watching me and my friends from somewhere else than inside of me. How often does this happen to you? Not very often. Okay. Was your school old? Well, it was all this building in the town. There's, there's one other thing I forgot to mention. Um, so we've stayed in two places where we had mm -hmm. definite hauntings, we think. And in both cases, the very first thing that happened was the flickering light. Yeah. It just flickered just then as I was talking about... Um, I just think it's English problem. Yeah, Sana thinks it's just, you know... She's got the Stephen Novella explanation. Ele electric's <laughs> notoriously unreliable. Yeah, it just it just so <laughs> happens that it, it happens in rooms where but I have something terrible else tragedies common. happened. Sorry? I, I have something else common because that first other place. Which place? Said, hmm, well, we had some experiences. <laughs> Which place? Uh, oh, room 14. Yes, room 14. Yeah. You know, I had a headache there. Yeah. And it was the same when we came here. I, I had this headache coming again. Yeah. And normally I don't have headaches ever. How was your stay? It was very good. Oh, it was what? We we had a special. We may have had a special guest in the in the watches of the night. Sorry. The room we're staying in. Yeah. Is is it um haunted? Why do you say that? Because um Sana felt something in the middle of the night. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. You've yeah. heard stories about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Oh, that's so bizarre. What did she feel? She felt as if someone was sitting on the bed next to her. Mm -hmm. 
and then she felt this cold draft go over her and that room was very warm yeah well uh, i'm quite into that because i've always lived in old houses yeah and um, i used to have